Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video overview of the Piano Roll window. The Piano Roll window enables precise graphic editing of note timing and duration. You can also graphically edit note velocity, controllers, program changes, channel aftertouch, or pitch bend. To access the Piano Roll, just press the Piano Roll button that looks like a rolled up keyboard under Views in the toolbar. You can also open a movable Piano Roll window, which floats above the Band in a Box main window, by going to the Window menu at the top of the screen, and under Piano Roll, selecting Movable Piano Roll window. There are two main sections to the Piano Roll window. First being the note panel, where notes can be inserted, deleted, selected, and edited. The lower section is the graphic event panel, which lets you graphically display and edit non-note MIDI events such as velocity, pitch bend, and more. So let's get started by going over the controls of the Piano Roll window, and then we will take a more in-depth look at some of the features. At the top left here, we have a row of buttons to select the track in which you would like to edit. The letters on the button correspond to the initial of the track. For example, B is for the bass track, P is for piano, and S is for the soloist track. Note. These buttons show initials of the automatic track labels when you check the auto-generate track labels option in the preferences dialog. Just to the right of that, we have the snap to grid drop-down menu. When using this feature, selections, inserted notes, and edited notes will snap to the grid spacing of your choice. If you do not want to snap to the grid, just select none in the drop-down menu. Just to the right, we have the Note Duration drop-down menu, which sets the default duration of any inserted notes. The duration of a note is easily edited with the mouse once inserted. Just move the cursor over the right of the note, and a right arrow cursor will appear. Then click and drag the note horizontally to edit the note's duration. To the right of the Note Duration menu, we have the View slash Insert Channel menu. If a track contains multiple channels, all will display the MIDI events on all channels. Otherwise, select the channel in which you need to see. If all is selected, new MIDI events are inserted on the Band in a Box Tracks Assigned channel. Here we have a button to toggle ghost notes off and on. When viewing a single channel, Notes on other channels can be ghost displayed in light gray. This is useful when viewing multi-channel tracks. Just to the right of the ghost button, we have the view slash edit graphic data drop-down menu. This is where you determine what graphic data to view or edit in the bottom graphic data panel. You can choose from velocity, controller, program change, channel aftertouch, and pitch bend. Down the left hand side, we have our keyboard pitch panel, where you can click on a single note of the keyboard to select all notes of the clicked pitch. Or click drag on the keyboard to select all notes in a pitch range. Shift click drag to add a set of notes to the selection. And control click drag to invert a pitch selection. Directly above the keyboard pitch panel, we have a small box that displays the cursor location info. The cursor location info panel shows the cursor's bar, beat, tick, as well as the MIDI note or controller value. There are two top rulers. The top chords ruler displays chords and the playback location indicator. The note time ruler displays bars and bar subdivisions. When zoomed in, more subdivisions are displayed. When zoomed out, fewer subdivisions are displayed. 
There is also a note time ruler at the top of the graphic event panel. A vertical splitter bar sits between the note and graphic event panels. This bar can be shifted up or down to suit your liking. You can vertically zoom using these buttons here and horizontally zoom with these buttons here. If we select some notes within the note panel and press this button with the yellow square inside of it, the note panel will zoom to selection, meaning the vertical pitch range and horizontal time range will adjust to fill the note panel with the selected notes. Below, we have a button with an X inside, which will unzoom and return to the previous view. This button with an A inside will zoom the window so that all track notes are visible at a glance. Now that we have gone over the general controls of the piano roll window, let's take a closer look at the note panel and editing notes. To start off with, you can enter a note in the note panel by holding the shift and control buttons together. This will bring up the pencil cursor and you can now enter notes by clicking on the panel with the mouse. The note's duration and how it will snap to the grid are determined by these two drop-down menus as stated before. You can select any note in the note panel by simply clicking on it. You can select multiple notes by clicking and dragging over a section of the panel. You can shift click on notes to add them to your selection, or control click on the notes to toggle the selection. You can also click and drag on the time ruler to select a time range of notes. And just like on the note panel and the pitch selector, you can shift click to add to your selection or control click to toggle your selection. To edit a note's start time, Hover your cursor over the left of the note. An east-west cursor appears. Then horizontally click drag the note to a new time. To edit a note's duration, move the cursor over the right of the note. A right arrow cursor appears. Then horizontally click drag the note duration. To edit the pitch of a note, move the cursor over the center of the note. A north-south cursor appears. Then vertically click drag the note pitch. You can also edit the start time, duration, and pitch of multiple notes in a similar way. Just select a group of notes, hold the shift button, and click and drag the same way you did before. At the start of a note for start time, at the end of a note for duration, and in the middle of a note for pitch. To delete a note, simply select the note and press the delete button. Holding the shift and control keys together brings up the pencil tool. But if you hover over a note while holding shift and control, the pencil tool turns into the erase tool, and then just click on the note to delete. You can also make a selection of multiple notes, right click on the note panel, and select delete selected events. There are also options in the right-click menu to undo, as well as cut, copy, and paste options. You can select all notes and graphic events, and you can also re-channel events from the right-click menu. Sometimes you may have notes that overlap. Overlapping notes are displayed in a bold aqua color, making them easy to identify. Overlapping notes can also be eliminated from the right-click menu as well. Now let's take a closer look at the graphic event panel. Within this panel, you can graphically display and edit non-note MIDI events. This panel only shows MIDI events specified in Channel, View slash Edit, and Controller Type Controls. With the exception of Velocity Data, the view is drawn staircased. In this panel, we can choose from Velocity, Controllers, Program Changes, 
channel aftertouch, or pitch bend. If view slash edit is set to control, the controller type control becomes visible. Here we can choose from a number of options such as mod wheel, balance, pan, and more. First, let's select velocity. Velocity events are measured vertically with zero at the bottom and 127 at the top. There are two modes for editing graphic events. One, add mode. This will add or subtract the same amount to all selected events. And two, scale mode. This will scale the selected events. With add mode, note velocities will exactly match the slope of your drawn line when using the line tool. With scale mode, using the line tool will shape the dynamics, but note velocities are scaled to follow approximate shape of the drawn line. With this mode, you can insert a velocity fade or change the velocity of a region while preserving the velocity dynamics of the music. Multiple graphic events can be selected with the graphic event ruler. To edit a single note's velocity, move the cursor over the top half of an event and a north-south cursor will appear. Click drag vertically to scale the event's value. To edit the scale of a selected group of events, shift-click drag vertically on one of the events in the selection. To edit a single note's time, move the cursor over the bottom half of the event and an east-west cursor will appear. Click drag horizontally to slide the event in time. To slide a selected group of events, shift-click drag horizontally on one of the events in the selection. There is also a pencil tool within the graphic event panel. Just hold shift and control keys like in the note panel and the pencil tool appears. Now shift control drag to freehand draw a curve. If you don't get the curve quite right on the first pass, just keep holding the mouse button and move the mouse back and forth to draw your desired freehand curve. When the mouse button is released, a series of events are inserted to follow the freehand curve. To delete events, make a selection of events on the ruler or by clicking on the events. Then just tap the delete key. You can also right click and choose delete selected events in the pop-up menu. You can also use the eraser tool. Hold the shift control keys and hover the cursor over an event. When the cursor becomes the eraser, just click on the event to delete it. If multiple events are selected, all selected events will be deleted. If we change the view edit graphic data type to control and then select mod wheel, we can edit these events in the same fashion as velocity using the line tool or the pencil tool or by simply clicking within the panel. The spacing controls how often events are drawn. For example, if this is set to 30, events will be spaced apart by 30 sticks. If it is set to 10, events will be spaced apart by 10 sticks. The program and channel after graphic events can be edited in the same fashion as the control graphic events. However, when you select pitch bend, along the left hand side, the value of zero is now in the middle. You can edit the events the same with the arrow and pencil tool, but values above zero are pitched up and values below zero are pitched down. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box video overview of the piano roll window. Have fun!